Hey guys, welcome back for Zelda Ocarina of Time. I, sh I really should have just said Ocarina of Time, I don't know why I put Zelda in there. Uh, <laughs> wow. Failing before I even fight the boss. It's something I don't really want to be doing. Because, uh, yeah, the bosses in this game, with the exception of Goma, are actually kind of mean. I mean, Goma's incredibly easy, considering the grass infinitely spawns around the field, so you can always get hurts when you need them, so it's pretty much impossible to lose to it. But, yeah, this bot, well, I, I shouldn't really say anything here, because we still have one final puzzle for the level. These bats should pay from my pain of trying to record Mario 64. Just oh, like a man ago. I don't even want to explain my pain. That one might be a little late. I'm sorry, but it might be. Thank you for the massive amount of hearts there. God love the lack of no music here. So, anyways, yeah, you just gotta loop around like this. There are no pots right there. And here's the stupid one you gotta push. losers for all their pain that their brethren in Hazy Maze Cave brought me. I'm not going to shut up about that. Whatever. Okay, so you push that onto the stupid thing and you know, the door opens and you can head through. Extra bombs. Only five, though. And now we must come down. Why am I shivering? Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. This boss has one mean thing that it can do, and you really don't want it to do that mean thing. The mean thing is when it breathes fire, because we all know Dodongos breathe fire, right? Well, this one is even meaner in that regard. Thankfully, the Hillian Shield can completely block out the, uh, stupid rollout. I did actually see a shoot the whoop of this boss that I could post an annotation right now. And wow, that was very easy. That was really easy. That was easier than Goma! Oh uh, yeah, if you screw up the bombs, it shoots fire out, and the fire, it's like completely unavoidable, like, if it hits, if, if it fires at you. 
And it does a ton of damage, too. I think it can do, like, two hearts of damage all automatically. But, yep. I'll be my fifth heart container, and... Yay. Uh, we're only about five minutes into this. I could try and get a few things done that I for that we sh could have gotten in Goron City, but whatever. I think that'll be what I'm gonna do, is the Goron City stuff and then other things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. What a wild adventure we make. Travel story, I can't believe. I don't understand any of this stuff. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Please tell me no plot exposition. Please tell me no plot exposition. I've heard the story about three times. I don't need to hear it a fourth time. I've heard it at the beginning of the game, I've heard it from the deck of tree close to the beginning of the game, and I heard it from Zelda also close to the beginning of the game. But anyways, yep, here it is. Goron's Ruby. Wait, is it night time out? Yeah, I think yeah, I think it was a night time out. Okay, Goron's Ruby. Goron's Ruby. That Sworn Brothers thing, I'm sure, will come into play later. I mean, like, I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't played the game, this game, but I don't know many people who haven't beaten this game, actually. Or at least know about the plot twist partway through. <laughs> I like how they're all zombies. Okay, where is it dumping me off? Right here. Okay. I like how the red arrow appears on that map, considering... Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I need to head up on Death Mountain. Um, actually... Because... Actually, no, I'm gonna- I'm going to Goron City before that. Screw it. It's optional and- it's optional, but I wanna do something in Goron City, first of all. And that is get our first heart piece and get an ex- a bomb bag expansion. Boom. Okay, sweet. Managed to get the bomb bag expansion. That is, you need to stop this guy. What? I I stopped him right in his track. Stop hitting me. Only causing yourself all your own harm. Boom. Again. Oh, whatever. Thank you very much. And yep, that is in fact our first harp piece of the game. Awesome. Shiny thing. See you guys next time for crap.